Please welcome the final competitors. From Canada, Piper Dennis and Paul Poirier. Don't have to tell you, but I will. This is a team from Canada to <laughs> round it out. Piper Gillis, Paul Poirier in third after Rhythm Dance, two-time world bronze medalist, the three-time Canadian champs. They are looking incredibly fast this week. Piper told me this free dance set to Withering Heights is all about the exploration of love, how it can take you to your highest highs and the lowest of lows. But even in those low moments, you have hope. Less than a year ago that Piper announced that she had been diagnosed with stage one ovarian cancer. She's been living with that since and she says that it not only changed her mindset but their mindset as a team skating for the joy of it now. And Piper told me that her hope of being so public about her journey is that more women will get checked. She said I didn't feel good I got checked and it saved my life and she hopes more women do the same.
you know the people in this building know their story. They know her story. And it just felt like they were with them every second of that program. So much emotion you can see coming out of them. They, maybe more than anyone else in this event, live the characters and the emotions that they are trying to portray and get so deep in the weeds of the story and the emotion. It's, uh, you can see they're living it. And that was the best I've seen them skate it all year. Their speed, everything they do is, is a little different and they do it so well. I've always considered them more method actors yes. than, <laughs> than anything else, but today I don't think there was much acting going on out there at all. It was raw, it was hungry, they were fighting hard, and you know, sitting third after the rhythm dance, I think that was strong enough to move them up on the podium. You think, a, you think second? I think second. They had a stronger technical score than Chalk and Bates when they finished, but again, there's not much in it artistically. The component scores, I think the judges will go for Chalk and Bates, and then of course there was they were behind after the rhythm dance. So um, making up all of that points is hard in ice dance, but this this is the most tremendous performance I've seen them give in a, in a very long time. Yeah, so many incredibly difficult details. You can see the lean of their blade, the speed across the ice. Their turns looked very clean. You can see here in the step sequence, carrying so much flow around those curves. Clean looking edges and really capturing the audience. Look at this lift entrance. He rotates counterclockwise and then curves clockwise, and yes, those blades on his legs do hurt. In their twizzle sequence, they were incredibly close together, super fast rate of rotation. Similar to some others, not as much ice coverage. Look at the intensity showing the love and hatred on two sides of that emotion. Now, they've been bronze medalists twice at the World Championships. Can they make that move up to the second step? It would take a lot, numbers-wise, to challenge, obviously, chalk and base, but very doable, that second spot. Continue, 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 continue. I would say certainly no fear of Lila and Lewis overtaking them for a podium position. 130.02 is what they would need for second. did it. 133.17, that's enough to capture the silver medal. And look at the rank in the free dance. Yeah, first place in the free. Silver medal, what a day for Piper and Paul. Not a bad day for most of the people who came here to watch. Listen to that crowd, standing ovation all around.